So I, I laugh about everything. I, I laugh all the time. I, I'm just like a laughing box. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> it's funny because my favorite saying is fairly recent. The idea that we tend to overestimate short-term gains and underestimate long-term successes. And what that means is that we tend to be impatient. We tend to expect results right away. The reality is that oftentimes, if we're patient, we realize that over time, change does happen. We can look at history and see how change has happened over time. And sometimes we're in the moment, we don't recognize that that is actually leading to many, many moments that are happening at the same time that's moving us in a certain direction, that's gonna make the world a better place, that's gonna give freedom to somebody, that's going to make it possible for, for somebody to exist that may have not existed before. I've learned so many things, I think, in life. You know, I'm, I'm 60 years old, I just turned 60. I've learned that Facing your fear is the best way to get rid of it. Uh, I stuttered as a kid, and finally I met this therapist who said, you know, stuttering is about being afraid. It's about being afraid of speaking. So you have to say, own it, own the fear, and stutter more, and feel comfortable with your stuttering. And I thought, she must be crazy. What do you mean stutter more? She said, when you stutter more, you let go of that fear. And sure enough, with stuttering more, I was able to get rid of my speech impediment. I tend to get in trouble for using words that people are not supposed to generally use. Um, so I, I'm, I'm very colorful in my language. Uh, I'm trying to be uncolorful because I'm on camera right now. But, but uh, I love words, I have to say, uh, because I, I asked someone, I said, you know, it's really hard to read poetry sometimes. Like, reading poetry is not something that is comfortable for a lot of people. And the person that advised me um, said to me, said, read the words. And I started reading the words and enjoying the words. I live in a word world. Uh, so it's very exciting for me when I hear people using words in a way that is creative and exciting and makes you pause. I look forward to every day to work. Uh, there's always something new, something exciting. I mean, the restaurant business in itself is a dynamic business, always changing. And you know, it's where people come to connect and meet. And this is my place of work. It's a great space to be in. I don't have to uh, leave an office to come to eat. I, this is my office and this is my space and I can have, uh, can have a great time here and meet people here. I don't try to limit myself in what I say and what I don't say. And I think, you know, I. I take the rights that this country affords very seriously, I really do. I'm an Arab and I'm a Muslim. Uh, there's, there's a price these days to be an Arab and a Muslim in this country, you know, with all the disparaging comments and things that are going on around us. I mean, I think this is a country that I chose to become a citizen. I didn't have to become a citizen. I chose to become a citizen. The reason why is because of the values this country has. You know, Langston Hughes wrote about those values, uh, and he wrote about how important those values are. So he says, let America be America again, you know, and you have to ask, like, what is that again he's talking about? What he's talking about is the original idea that the dreamers dreamed, the idea of uh, equality and freedom and love and all of that. And so for me, I always go back to, you know, what makes me an American? and it's about the freedom and the ability to say whatever I want to say, whenever I want to say it. <laughs>